two, one. Lisa McLeod, Minister of Heritage, Sport, Niagara Tourism, Falls, and Culture business. Industries, was at Table Rock Friday morning to help reopen Niagara Falls and make two funding announcements to benefit tourism in the city. Last week we announced a million dollars in local marketing uh, to support Niagara Falls and today we took that one step further by announcing a 25 million dollar loan from the ministry uh, to uh, Niagara Parks Commission so that they could uh, refurbish an old uh, generating station and make it a, a world-class attraction, a one-of-a-kind uh, institution that will be open next year and will be able to pay itself uh, the loan off very quickly based on revenues that we're expecting for immersive and interactive uh, experiences, uh, a culinary experience as well as retail so we're excited about that and then in addition on that vein with culinary is to support the tourism alliance so that they can continue to support local initiatives and obviously at the Niagara Parks Commission we're proud that all five of our restaurants are about feast on which is spending about 3.3 million dollars procuring local product and produce Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Diodati was excited for today's announcement and the gradual reopening of the city. Within two weeks we should have almost everything open. Right now we've got all the patios opening up in Niagara Falls uh, over the next several days. We're going to have the sky wheel uh, is going to be operational, the zip line operational. So bit by bit the butterfly conservatory is open. Uh, next weekend we're going to have the go-karts running. Uh, July 1st weekend, we're going to have the Hornblower uh, boats going again, and that's big. A lot of people believe tourism starts when the boats start running, and the boats will do two to three million people typically, so to get those up and running is just a big thrill. And then, of course, the other big, big one everyone's asking about is the casino. So the AGCO, uh, of course, that's uh, provincial, they'll make that determination, but we're hearing uh, a week or two into July, and that's the number one employer in the region. So that's going to help a lot of people get back to work, start making money again, and kind of getting out of the doldrum of being in your house. It's nice, but eventually you're like, I got to get out. I want to do stuff. I want to have some fun. That's kind of the progression of things opening up as we slowly get to the new normal. And that's okay. You know, resilience is built into our DNA, and we'll get there, and we'll adapt, and we'll have fun again. Niagara Parks has been able to call back 500 of its employees and has been proactive in their mandate to keep staff and visitors safe on all their properties. We are so excited to be opening here at Niagara Parks. We've got uh, thermal scanning, which will scan about up to about 25 people to see if they've got a temperature. If they do, we will, you know, um, discreetly go and talk to them and ask them to come to our area, a special area that we've set up. And from there, we'll see if they are going to be permitted to go on our attractions because, you know, we can't take anything for granted. So we have to we have to keep safe, and everybody has to do their parts here. You know, to physical distance, to wear a mask, and to um, you know use the hand sanitizers whenever um, possible. We've really gone above and beyond because we want to make sure that once people come here, they feel safe and uh, our numbers don't go up and we can go into phase three because we need to get there. So I'm really excited, not only for Niagara Parks, not only for Niagara Falls, but the entire Niagara region. Niagara Falls Tourism recently received half a million dollars from the provincial government and partners used these funds to create the Safe to Play, Safe to Stay campaign. Phase one is we're promoting locally. So we're within Niagara Falls, Niagara region, Hamilton, Burlington, uh, pushing into Toronto a little bit. Uh, that's where our main messaging is going. As things open up in terms of, of uh, our allowances to open more and more venues, we'll push into, into Toronto and then, of course, the rest of Ontario in phase three. But really, it's, it's, phase, it's a sensible, strategic approach to being safe, uh, safety first. And that's what we keep saying to everybody. Safety first, if you're not well, if you have a family member that isn't well, it's stay home. We're, we're not going anywhere. Niagara Falls has been around for a long time. We'll be around again. So just stay home. When, we're, when you're ready, we want you here. We want you staying in hotels. We want you doing attractions. We want you going to the casino. We're here to, to serve you. 
we have to continue until there's a vaccine, um, adhere to the strict uh, and rigorous protocols with respect to social distancing, physical distancing, um, self-isolation if it's required, if you've come in contact with somebody. A contact tracing in the province will really step up next month. And of course, we want to make sure people are washing their hands, wearing their masks where they come. And I think that that is going to be key for us to continue to move out of this. But today is just a very big first start. It's allowing us to start to return to some semblance of normalcy, to have that uh, lunch on a patio, uh, to walk in one of our local parks, to go in and, and buy something from one of our local retailers. This is a really big day for Niagara and a big day for Ontario. To find out more information, please visit safetoplay.ca. In Niagara Falls, you're watching The Source.